Radio. They're coming. Fitzy and Whipper. Their focus is extremely short. How have I even got a job here? On Nova. Hello, podcast listeners. It is Leno and Jess from the Behind the Scenes team. Ooh. If you're confused why you don't hear us in the show, that's why. We're doing behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Keeping the whole show running. I not pre- Tom. Ignore him. He does nothing. <laughs> I hope he's not listening to this. Hey, on the way, great show. Songs a song, song, song. Great game. Another round. Get through quite a lot of rounds this time, which is amazing. Lots of words. Yep. Also on the way, there was a huge fight in Sydney at a wedding yeah. on the weekend. We want to know, did you see anything? Were you there? Are you the bride and groom? Hit us up on our DMs. Um, but if not, we've got some great stories about wedding fights coming your way. And another one of our favourite segments is... Doji insert person here and today terrible it's terrible singing letter. <laughs> today it's husbands. Doji husbands. Oh, you sounded just like it. <laughs> bit, bit, bitsy and whipper. We're still trying to get into 2022, the second of the second 2022 and get motivated. So true, Ryan, those numbers you just said. 22, 2, 2, 2 are very powerful if you've got any Psychic type, bad Leno. Um, two, 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 two is very lucky for many couples. A lot. Oh, Tommy. Fra- Tommy, why didn't call we get Francis answers? Bevan? He hasn't replied to my texts lately. Oh, oh no. what if he's dead? Well, at least he's not. Oh. <laughs> not on. Well, he two, always two, two, would. Two. No, he w- he had. A funny eye a bit, didn't he? I think he had some... You um, don't die of a funny eye with. No, but I think the eye was because he had diabetes and he was keeping a close eye on his health. <laughs> a close <laughs> eye on his health. <laughs> so even he would have enjoyed that. Actually, we got our next-door neighbour, Sandra. She's 80. How's she going, Sandra? Well, she said to BJ the other day, she goes, BJ, I'm just going to tell you where the spare key is. If you haven't seen me for a while, I'm probably dead. You, okay. you do need a contingency, don't you? Otherwise, the place starts to smell, and then you, the resale on that is shocking. Did you hear oh, about that yes. woman in Italy? Yesterday. No, she was found on the chair? Two months. Two years? Two years, oh, was yuck. it? Oh, yuck. You've really decomposed then. Yes, yes, just... Where's your family and your friends checking yeah. up on you? Two years oh. she was in the same chair. Oh, that's Better sad. check in on Auntie Rhonda. I'll do it next month. It's been six. Nah, I'll do it next year. COVID Busy at the moment. got distracted. Won't drop in now. Oh. Two, 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 two is a very romantic date for couples. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's not. 13, 24, 10. If you're getting married today, the influx of people getting married because of the date two, 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 Why? two. Why? Uh, because it's a lucky number. I thought they talk eight about was the lucky number. I thought for three was the I lucky number. eight was the lucky number for the Chinese community. Yeah. Well, this is for everyone. Two, I've two, never two. heard two being a lucky number. Oh, you number. know, it's my second lucky number. <laughs> Normally, if I'm at the track and I can't pick horse number nine, I'll go with horse number two. Okay. Quite often. I mean, they talk about picking a horse by its name. Go the number two. Are there anything? Are there any horses running today? Yes. Any horses running at number two. Where are pretty, they, mate? I'm pretty sure they are. Out in the country <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Going around in a circle. Make sure you bet on number two. Palindromes are words or numbers, sequences that can be read the same way backwards as forwards. The symmetry and the nature of a palindrome dates have always been a major draw card for couples. Like the name Hannah, su- that's a palindrome. Uh, Hannah, yep. Glen What's Elgus, a palindrome Fitzy-like? got to do with two? Because it goes, you can say the date the same way backwards. Two, 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 two. Right. So the, yeah. If I said it back the other way, it would sound exactly the same, so there's no point me repeating myself because it would still be... Two, 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 two. Whip, you'll be pleased to two. know that uh, at Ugal in Ireland, mm. race two is about to run in two minutes. Oh, and God. horse number two, Puzzled, is featuring. You're kidding me. Uh, nope. Can we get it on the big screen here? Let's load up on it right now, guys. Crossing to Ireland for the track. <laughs> two dollars. Race two at Ugal. Okay, can you keep an eye on that I as will. we continue to talk about how lucky the numbers are, MDG, and throw your house on it? Because you can't lose today. If you're okay. betting, bet big. Well, I've got $2 in my account, so it makes, oh, makes sense. I'll go big, big on it. Been a big season, has <laughs> it? Sandy and Monavar, why is today extra special for your family, Sandy? Well, it's special for us. Um, the 22nd of the second, 22, and my granddaughter, Layla, is two. Oh, oh nice. that is beautiful. Sandra, that's yeah. adding another two. Yeah, another two. There you are. All right. Well, and you go into the draw twice for 50k Fridays. Congratulations, Sandy. So excited about that. No worries. Good luck, Sandy. 
Andrew in Claremont Meadows. What special moment happened to you this morning, Drew? Yeah, yeah, I'm busy and with her and Sarah and boy. Really good. Really good. Um, Andrew. The alarm clock this at very early hours of the morning, so I could pop the question at twenty two oh two two oh two two zero two two. You oh, well, no way. way. Two minutes past midnight. You w- do you woke your partner up and proposed to her, is that correct, Andrew? Yeah. Yes, I asked her if she could hear bells ringing. Oh, this is this is extraordinary. Did you really, Andrew? Yeah, I did. And Whipper, I've got a number one for you. Yeah. If you use the right style of number two, you can turn it all upside down. It still looks the same. Two. Okay. Oh. But that, that, if you drink too much coffee, you might need to do a number two. <laughs> I mean, that's if you do. It's sort of like an S, isn't it? Mm. I mean, yeah, that's... Yeah, you got to do the right two, yeah. Andrew, that's <sighs> extraordinary. So do, have you been celebrating all morning or did you go back to sleep or...? Uh, it was hard to get back to sleep. I eventually fell asleep and now I'm on my way to work. And so. how long have you been oh, planning... How long have you been planning this for, mate? Um, I reckon about three weeks when I knew the date was coming up. Okay. Oh, what and a romantic. What's her name, Andrew? Her name is... Her, her proper name is Susanna, but we call her Susie. Susie. Yes. Okay, I can see where you've got Susie from. <laughs> um, Tommy, can yeah. you shower Andrew and Susie f- from Susanna in gifts galore? Yeah, that how is about just some awesome. 150 bucks to spend at Grilled and two tickets to the Batman? Oh, oh with the Grilled owner? Or? What's the Batman? Ooh. <laughs> He's busy. I'm, I'm guessing the Batman is a movie, is it? Yeah, it's it the is. New Robert Pattinson movie. She, Suze would love that. No, yeah, well, she's more of a romantic person, not an action movie person. Yeah. But, just, uh, just sneak into a different I'm cinema. Sure, I can uh, just pretend it's something else. Andrew, yeah. this is the most beautiful story I've ever heard. And I knew we'd get something like this on a yeah. day like today. Mm. <laughs> Let's check into the track in Ireland. Good luck, Andrew. MDG. Oh, it's running as we speak. Okay. How long's the race? Well, it's about 3,200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is wild. Okay. Okay. Where are we at, this MDG? This is wild. Hit me with the drone, Leno. You're kidding you me. You are kidding. Number two. Race on... two just happened. Horse number two yeah. at Ugal. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Puzzled. That's right. On the 22nd of the second, 22. Didn't even place. Unbelievable. What a number. Ready to hit the road this summer? It's time to what if it. Visit whatif.com to plan and book your accommodation, flights, activities, even car hire. Plus, select hotels are fully refundable. Booking cancellation windows apply. What if? It's Aussie for travel. Check government advisories before booking and travelling. Okay, so the Winter Olympics are over. It's all done and dusted. But how's this? This is one of the last races on the car, the men's 50-kilometre mass start race. Yeah. 50 kilometres skiing, Sarah, oh across country. Oh, my God. So they had to shorten it to 30 kilometres because the conditions were so bad. It was so cold. And uh, Remy's Finland's Remy Lindholm, he needed a heat pack at the end of the race to thaw out a particular sensitive body part. Freeze the schlong. Huh? Oh. So, Remy... Freeze the schlong. <laughs> now, how does it tie into this song? Please don't go. Freeze the schlong. Okay, you've had a big 24 hours, haven't you? I saw this story at around 10am yesterday, so I assume you've jumped on it and you've had a big night with Freeze the Schlong. Well, please, <laughs> please no, we don't get it. go. It was KC and the Sunshine Band. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a great song. Great song. Better now. But I didn't know that this could happen. So, there was howling, freezing winds, and it led to his... Package becoming frozen yeah. for the second time in his career. It's got to be bad long term. He nearly lost it, Sarah. Yeah, well, imagine that's if thing. it fell off when you took your suit off. Well, you get frostbite mm. and it would, like your fingers, would just die and they eventually just fall off. Yeah. I can't believe that this. Mm. Wouldn't you have something to cover it up or can't you have something to warm it You're up? Thermals. Like well, no, you you would those thermals. Well, no, you would think there'd be some sort of, like an Ugg boot, yeah. which is. Um, Sort of sheep's wool or lamb's wool, and you just kind of roll it on. Yeah, or and a it, sock. Or a sock, yeah. a big warm sock, or an electric blanket for your member. If anyone's got frostbite before, I'd love to hear from you, 13, 20, 14. Yeah, how painful is it? Because it would obviously go numb, yep. but he said it was very painful that after the race, when the body parts needed to warm up, he just got a, a, a heat pack. Yeah, how did he thaw it out? Well, that was the thing. He went into a caravan and just mm. sat there in a caravan and just placed it on top. Because oh. quite often if you've got frozen sausages, I did it on Sunday before I barbecued them, in just a little bit of water, mm. still in the bag though, in the bottom of the sink, 
that can often work. I, I mean, I can't draw a, a, a um, parallel to anything else that I've done before. What's the coldest you've ever been? Oh, in Nepal, if you want me to go back to those stories. Oh, no. We were down to about minus 20. Yeah. We were watching a show the other day. Was this in your day. five-star resort? Or no, what? it no. wasn't. These are sleeping in tents, mate. Oh, okay. In the foothills of the Himalayas oh. on the Annapurna track. We were uh, looking at this video the other day of the coldest town on the planet. Yeah. I can't remember where it was. It was minus 58 degrees. They don't have running water because there's no point because the taps just freeze. Yeah. So the what pipes do they drink? freeze. They have bottled water that stay, stays inside the house. Then they do things like if you do your washing, if you put it outside, it goes as hard as a rock. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the, one guy, as an experiment, he left a banana outside. You can smash it on the ground afterwards, like that dry ice experiment. You can't. You can't dry your clothes out. No, you can't. You'd You've got to bring it all inside. You never be able inside. to sweat though. You can't so you do don't anything. really need to wash your clothes. No, too. and if you urinate outside, it can freeze. So as the stream's coming out, that's the first thing you would do. Wouldn't it, it would go yeah, straight back it. in. If you think about it. Where's the non-freezing point as it enters the warm body? I don't want to think about that. What a miserable horrible. place to live. I know, why do people live there? Uh, They've been there forever. I mean, just going to the snow and when you have to put Ooh. four layers on yeah. to leave the house, then you take four layers off when you arrive at a restaurant. Yeah. Or it's just, it's nah. just a nightmare to get around in. And is this guy, I mean, is it both parts? Is it the I, Frank and the, I thought, the beans? I thought that... When you warm up, like mm. if you're in a race and you're sweating and yeah, that, you're fine. Pumping. That's why if you get caught out, you've got to keep yourself yep. moving, don't you? But it's not moving. It'd be the one bit that would be hit getting the wind without any movement. Yeah, right. You would think that part of your body. So he's got to try to move it. He needs to he be needs permanently to, uh, excited so there's blood flowing through it. I mean, what would you think? <laughs> what was, what's the first thing you would think of, said to get it moving? Hmm? A heat pack. <laughs> and thank you, Fitzy, I'll keep it clean. A heat pack. That's not the answer we were looking for. Matt no. Burke, I reckon, for you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, Matt I was going to say. Burke. Morning, Maybe. Burkey, and your wife and your beautiful daughters. <laughs> Good morning, respectfully. I mean, you'd, you'd need to almost have a TV set up or on your iPhone <laughs> and reruns of Pointless with Dr Andrew Rochford. That's not bad. Just to keep oh, things... Oh, we're doing this. Just okay. to keep the blood gotcha. flowing there. Good morning, Worst. Dr Rochford and your beautiful <laughs> wife and children as hey, well. Hey, Roch. Yeah. Worst thing, he's, he came 17th as well. Oh, like, no. It wasn't even worth <laughs> it. You've sacrificed your member. You've frozen tackle and you've come 17th. Sitting there on the phone to yeah. your family going, oh, well done, Remy. You finished 17th. Thanks. Yeah. You've also frozen off your best mate downstairs. Oh, what a yeah, you're not bringing up. home a medal and you're bringing home your member in a bag. You've had a good time. Oh. Can't wait for the next Winter Olympics. <laughs> Dr Chris Brown says maybe reruns of I'm a Celeb. Good That's morning, not bad. Chris, and your beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. Jeez, the list is growing, Sam. Is anyone just... else you want to throw out there? No. The guy from Bridgerton? How beautiful is a wedding, guys? Isn't it that one day where you meet that loved one of your life and... You run off into the sunset and think we'll be together forever. And then a fight breaks out <laughs> at just outside. <laughs> just oh, outside. Whoa. The police are called. There's someone unconscious and someone's getting their head smashed into the road. Yeah, well, I couldn't you... believe those scenes. Mm. This was in Mossman or the Spit on the weekend. I know, you don't want to see that. Down the spit. <laughs> Look at this. You oh. see a woman get shoved really hard as well. Yeah, it's... it's not okay. Oh, yeah, see there, she gets so absolutely smacked. Off. Bang. And she goes. I mean, those people are trying to get through the, the traffic light there as well, I mean, that you know. Guy, that guy's out But cold. you can see the car that's pulled up right there in front of the guy. He's lying. You're right, says. He's out cold on the road. Someone comes to help him, mm. right, as you can see, bending <gasps> down. Jeez. Another bloke oh, comes God. and smashes his head yeah, into the road. Yeah, some guy's and that guy shouldn't have on. lost his shirt. I know. He's got a bit of a dad bod. What's... <laughs> what? You do wonder that I mean, were they all in vices or I mean, if he was he wasn't home. <laughs> if he wasn't... Oh, OK. I'll stop. Go on. I mean, Uber, try, trying to get out of there as well. Ubers around Mossman would be t twice as expensive. Oh, could you imagine the, oh, the price so hike bad. out of there? It's, um, you know, it, usually it's, it's it's families. It's all about families, mate. And, you know, when mm. two families come together for a wedding, they don't always get along. But, I mean, I'm not sure what happened here. I believe a few of the groomsmen were involved and some of the guests. Now, it says... Well, oh, is this a chore chore choreography? Was dance, it? This, it wasn't it? a dance? No, room. this wasn't the dance. So right. this is, unfortunately, okay. after mm. the wedding as they tried to make their way home. Um, says you've been to a couple oh, of weddings yeah. in that spot. Is there only one 
wedding venue down there by the water? Well, there is on that side of the road and then the other side there's some restaurants. The thing is mm. that you can't really get in and out very easily because cars no. have to go quite far to turn around and things like that. So if they're all Ubers that they that are pulling up... Well, that's the thing. They were so all, dangerous. They're all out the front there waiting for an Uber yeah. when the fight broke out. But what's more, even more confronting is everybody's so well-dressed mm. and then to see a fight take uh, place with those outfits on is something you don't often see. It's like a punch on at the races. It is. It's so confronting because everyone's turned up in their best gear to make sure they look as good as possible. And the next thing you know, they're stripped of all of that because they're throwing punches and ties are being ripped and shirts are being torn. At the races, it's sort of expected, isn't it, that it all ends in chaos? I've been to a wedding before where the groom tried to hit his father uh, there was a bottle of whiskey involved. He'd gone straight from beers to whiskeys. Mm. And I don't know what had actually unfolded. Obviously, he wasn't happy with it. It might have just been 40 years of pent-up anger. Tried to punch his dad. Tried to punch his dad at the reception. What happened? The, uh, the other brother had to take him away. He just tried to sw- had a swing and a miss and took him away. I went to an event and it was black tie. And there were these two guys who would have been in their 50s. And they had been at school together. And there was an argument over something that happened back when they were at school. Mm. Good time to get get it off your chest. Really Isn't good time it? to Isn't get it? it off your chest. So it started with a bit of back and forth. Yeah. They were getting a bit lippy. Then a glass of red was thrown and then it was on. Mm. And it was shirts torn. Someone had a blood nose as they left outside? the building. I do. Oh, they didn't want to go outside. I do. I do as well. Let's go. They weren't getting married. They were dragged outside, these two blokes. Bit of claret from the bugle. Shirt was torn. Very, very ugly. I mean, 13, 24, 10, if you've been to a wedding and there was a punch on. Have you ever seen one with your mates? Well, yeah. I was going to say, surely well, you've got a, a story, Fitz. Haven't you written a book on it? <laughs> oh, look, I, I, you know for me, because they can get quite boring. It's a little bit of entertainment. We don't mind it. I mean, speeches is another one as well. People get... They have too many drinks mm. and it's their opportunity to get up yep. and tell other family members how they feel. And if you heckle some people, they don't take it so well. I've seen someone get tackled off the stage. Right, okay. Just going a bit too hard. In the speech. Yeah, in the speech. And saying, that's it, you've had enough. If you keep going, I'll tackle you off the stage. (laughs) And it was not a bad tackle as well, holding the ball. Yeah, right. (laughs) Maddie and Penrith, welcome to the show. What happened uh, at the wedding you were at? Okay, so at my own wedding, it didn't quite cause a punch on, although I'd still like to punch him. My father-in-law said that I wasn't quite what they had for their son, but I was good enough. Oh, Oh, what they had in mind. Yeah, so they wanted someone better for their son. Oh, that's that so I would unkind. Do. Did, oh, did you Maddie. say something to him afterwards? Everyone just laughed it off. Yeah, it's but seven years on, and I still want to punch him. So. Do you yeah. know, Cynthia, people get excited as well. This is the thing. I mean, you get a beautiful meal, and you get free drinks all night. You get yep. really, really excited. Yeah. Mm. And then there's always someone at a table when you look over, and they've got their hands. Crossed, not impressed. And they're going, you know, Aunty Trish is over there having a go at me the whole time she's been. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing sick that. of this. I knew she'd do that. Next thing you know, you, you spill your margarita next to her, so mm. she slips over when she gets up, and it's on. Yeah, she's broken her leg. And I mean, it's fun for everybody else. It, it's great entertainment. Sandra <laughs> in Hornsby, hello. What happened to you at your brother's wedding? Oh hi, oh hi guys. Um, I was at my brother's wedding, and the night had finished for the night. Um, my brother had left with his new wife and we were leaving the reception venue when one of the guests accidentally bumped the DJ. The DJ turned around, started saying every single profanity you could think of yeah. and then took a swing at one of the guests. Oh, and ended up no. in a nice Not cool. fight that ended up outside. And how many people involved at this one, Sandra? Um, there was probably about 20 people at the time. In the punch-on? Yeah. Oh, oh my God! DJs. All having a crack at the. Did the DJ have anyone on his side? <laughs> um, just I think one of his friends ended up coming, yeah. and then he was like, yeah. "Oh, I'm gonna call all these people to come down and take out everyone you wow. know." And we just like, "Oh, charming." Yeah, he, he had the B fifty twos. He had Lionel Richie. <laughs> no, he chucked on Chumbawamba. <laughs> did he? I did not. No, he cleared the place. Get up again. <laughs> he completely he just kept cleared on it. Up. Oh my God. Donna in Narrowena. What happened at the wedding, Donna? Um, yeah, I was at a wedding a few years back, um, and uh, amongst them, it was a large wedding. Amongst some guests, um, a brawl broke out that involved about fifty people. My God, Donna, oh. why did the fight start? Do you know? I'm not sure. I think just just men being men, yeah. too much to drink, and said a few things yeah. that were a bit derogatory. Would have been so scary, were, Donna. From the groom's side, I was from the bride's side, so I don't, I don't really know. Donna, did but, you um, throw out a few? 
profanities yourself? Did you ever go at someone? No, I was with the bride's side, so she was yeah. horrified and obviously highly distressed, so we ran away into the bathroom. God, how did it finish, Donna? How did the fight finish? Um, a few chairs being thrown, police oh, being called, God. a few people being dragged away. What was it? Terrible. Musical chairs, obviously, was being <laughs> played at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Chairs can hurt. Oh, yeah. I've had a chair thrown at me. Maybe where were you? Well, BJ, at home. Okay. It was, Last um, night. It does hurt. Sarah in Croydon Park, what happened at the wedding? Hey, yeah, during the um, the first dance, the cousin talking about having few too many, he uh, went to interrupt, ended up throwing up all over the bride's dress and she <sighs> popped him one in the nose. Oh, no. Oh, my God. So, he right. what, he tried to join the first dance, did he? Absolutely did. Yeah, I was about 16 at the time, and me and my cousins thought it was the greatest thing that it had ever happened. I would have paid to see it. Yeah, I, I agree. Paid to see I, that. Would, I would have as well. Yeah. That would just be <laughs> what a moment. So, because vomit you know, down the front and a quick right hook yeah, to the nose. All the way down the, the, the front. Oh, of the dress, no. Long, bussy, really big, you know. Uh, and yeah, she just turned around and socked him one. and holding his nose and his ego, he kind of got dragged away. <laughs> because he, that, that's the one thing everyone will remember. Yep. Do you remember 10 years ago, Jen and Gavin's wedding? Oh, oh, oh I remember how that. How was that right hook? How could you forget the vomit down the front of the dress? We all remember that. Let me sing that song. Song, 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 song. Songs, a song, song, song. We're streaming live on the Fitz and Whipper Facebook page. MDG is the official scoresman. Are we putting in the official record mm. wrong or rightman? Is that a is that a returning game? Or is that a one off? Oh, because Sarah funny. won wrong or rightman, but I don't know if that's an authorised Fitz and Whipper game. That was a. I would assume that was a one off. Ivan Reitman, yeah. who made the hit movies like Ghostbusters and uh, Caddyshack, um, he unfortunately passed away. So we did yep. wrong or rightman. I think. It should be uh, included, okay. MDG. It okay. was a game played on this show. Sarah gets another point, well, extending her lead. Case, it's Sarah six, Matt and Tom two, Fitz one. How oh. interesting. Okay, Thomas Brian Ivy licking his lips. What? Ah, yes, ready for the contest. Okay, guys, you know how this works. I give you one word. The race will be on. You have to put it in to a song. Good luck, everybody. The word is. Away. Away in a manger. Yes. Oh, Ooh, come nice. away with me, come Laura on. Jones. Lovely, Sarah. Oh, yeah. That's a great beautiful, song. I love beautiful Sarah. song. Take me away. Take, Take me away. Song. Thomas oh. Brian Ivy. Um, away. One weekend. You want to go away with me? me to the sea. That's okay. a great song. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, we could have gone with... Did we do Sail Away? Enya. Oh, oh, Enya. Nora Jones was in there, says. What you're spot on. Enya? Fitz, what about this? Oh. Oh. Man, top gun. Berlin? Yes. Berlin. Yeah. Spot on. All right, we all move through because you can't go at the first round. Are we having a good time, guys? Yeah, Such yeah. a good time. Just one. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> round two. <laughs> the word is... Oh, shivers. Ooh. Good double up. Shivers, here, shivers. shivers. Here. No, no, no. Oh, good. Sorry. No, 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 no. I just realised what it was. Stop the clock. I haven't launched it, Leno. The word is take. Take, take me away. away. Take me back. Take Sarah. me back. No, it's a great beat, me. Oh, take, no, away. take me on. Back to the ball game. Oh, How does that take, go? Take, take me back out to the ball game. game. Tom. Take me away. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, you can do it, yep, you again. Can do it again. Yep, that's why I realised where we <laughs> were at. Tom's doubled up. Um, why we can. So Hopefully the next one's me. <laughs> oh, take me home. Right. <laughs> oh, take me to church. Oh, I love that song. Yeah. Oh, hosier. Hosier. Mm-hmm. All right, Hosier me down if you know. <laughs> I don't know what you mean at all. Big night out. Okay, the word, round three, we're all in, is World. World uh, around the world. The Michael world. Jackson here. The world. The world. Yes, MDG as well. Sarah, what were you? Ordinary world, Duran Duran. MDG, where were you? Uh, Michael Jackson, heal the world. Yes, Stuff Thomas. Punk around the world. No, that's no that was Fitzy. Exactly around right. The world. Oh, uh, was it the world? Oh no! I thought. Did I, you say sitting oh, on top of the world, Delta Goodrum? Top of the world. Great song. Think to myself. Oh, wow. Aww. Louis Armstrong, the old Satchmo. Beautiful. Take it away, Louis Armstrong. Not Louis Ivy. One of the best. Satchmo. Yeah, Satchmo, you know. R.I.P. 
Went oh. too soon. Well, gone too soon. He was in his oh, 80s. Was he? Yeah. Still be great to have him here, wouldn't it? So gone appropriately aged is more the mm-hmm. expression. Tom, you're gone. No, we say pr- appropriately oh, aged. Yep, me and Louis Armstrong. <laughs> two big losses today, guys. Two big losses. They didn't die today. Yeah. Okay. I wanted him on the show. Tommy, yep. we can't get him. After we eight, can't get you either. You're gone, you loser. All right, here we go. <laughs> we move on. Two baldies and a girl. Yep. The word is white. White, 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 stri- white, white, white. No, Michael Jackson. White yes. wedding. White wedding. That's right. Yes. No. Where were you going, MDG? White wedding. Uh, oh, white now doesn't you're... matter if you're black or white. I've just did Michael Damn Jackson. Yeah. I thought you were somewhere really else tough. there, MDG. It was an obvious one. Uh, yeah, I thought you were too. Well, not that obvious, guys, because I can't think of it. So, MDG, see we you say later. goodbye. Gone. Done. Dusted. You're uh, a white guy. guy. Oh, one of the best. I wouldn't That's have referenced. Great. Colour like that, MDG or <laughs> Leno, whatever your name is. You got Billy oh, Idol, didn't did you? you? White yes. wedding? Yes. What were you, Fitz? Black, Black and, and white. Michael Jackson. Okay. Two left as we move through. This is going to be a fast round here. Oh. The word is just. Just. Just, just, uh, just, just dance. do it. Just yep. do it. Just dance. Yeah, just dance, Lady Gaga. Just. Just, just sitting on top of the world. Just sitting on top, top of, of the world. world. I, I don't, don't know. Think I'm just. Just come you, on, mate. Just you and me. Just you and me. Just yeah, you great. And me. Just you and me. Just How does that go? Just you you could have gone with just a girl. Me. Yeah. Yeah. The song "Just You and Me" by Chicago. Yeah. Is that the one you're thinking great of? Song. Great song. Chicago. Great band. How does that song start? I think they're from Chicago. <laughs> but it's um, brilliant band. What was it? The musical. Next round. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Round six. The word is habit. The bad habit. habit. Bad habits. Sarah. Oh, habit. Ooh. Isn't it bad habits? Yeah. Mm. So he, not in habit. the so, but in the song he says, I'll my bad it. habit. I've accepted my it. My bad habit oh, leads habit. to you. Ryan. Habit. Ryan. Mm. The habit? The movie? See you, mate. <laughs> That's it, Sarah. Yes. Gets another point as she yes. takes yes. the yes. song. So song, song, song. Well played, everyone. Uh, I just want to get your thoughts on this because this morning, and ladies, I'd love for you to get involved because I'm looking for... Dodgy husband. Dodgy husband. I don't think there are any. Oh, give me a break. 13, 24, 10. Anyone gets on the show today on the 22nd of February, 2022, gets two chances in 50K wow. Friday. Are you asking people to dob themselves in? <laughs> well, dob their husbands in. Because a bloke's put up on Reddit, am I the a-hole here? Um, okay, the story goes, I booked a flight with my wife. We were going away on a romantic hotline. We initially thought that we were going to be sitting next to each other, but I had the option to upgrade my seat to business with frequent flyers. So I did. Okay. <laughs> His wife couldn't. So he went up into business class. She stayed back in economy. Do you take one for the team, even though the opportunity's there, and still sit next to your wife in economy? He didn't think it mattered. He said, we communicated this to him, my partner. I said, look, it's not that... Uh, look, I've got frequent flyers. You don't. If I've got an opportunity, why wouldn't you let me get a nice meal and yeah. a nice glass of wine? Because what you could do is once you were airborne, because you need to be in your designated seat for takeoff, then you could swap. Mm. I mean, that's not a bad way to do it. So you go, honey, you take the business class and I'll go down the back. That's an option. Yeah. yeah Did you do that? Nice. No. No, I mean, when we've didn't. flown together as a team, quite often we'll be sitting next to each other. I remember the last trip, Fitz, you said, nah, stuff it, I'm going to sit next to Carl Stefanovic. And you changed your seat. Then the problem was, Stefa was in first class and you were next to Nat Barr, oh, which that's... wasn't a problem. It was a great experience. You got to know Nat really no, well. No, I got Sarah to sit next to you. Yeah. you Sarah that's and I menace. were together. Because you always go to the lounge once we've already got our tickets and change yours so that none of us can do it. Cause not I think, Tommy, you do was... that as a joke. You sit us yeah. together yeah. and then when you get on the plane, I try to swap <laughs> seats oh, very quickly. Because I was looking forward to a chat, but the thing was the entertainment had broken that time. That's so right. it says it's... we got to talk the whole time. With his I had TV so much was to say. in takeoff. And then yours is working, so I was leaning over over a lot, yeah. quite close to you. you and can't... when I was asleep and you did the whole, hey, 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 do you want to chat? Do yeah. You want to chat? I don't know why you didn't want yeah. to. So you guys know I sit in the emergency exit because I've got huge long legs, yeah. right? But now when travelling with the family, it's a real tough one because the kids can't sit in emergency exit. Yeah. BJ mm-hmm. can, but we can't leave the kids by themselves. So now I'm having to sit next to the family, but I, I have no leg room. It's annoying. The only positive is, is Lenny is so small that I can just basically put my legs in his whole area. Right. And then he has no sure. space. So you're well. on the angle. 
There's nothing worse than having a foot out and the trolley comes past and takes <laughs> off a few of your toes. Yeah, or your kneecap. Just nothing worse. But ladies, this is your chance. I mean, if you want to do- if you want to dob in a dodgy husband, thirteen twenty four ten. We're you- more than happy to. What about out him? I got on a flight one time, Melbourne to Sydney. George Columbaris was a running joke whenever he'd come on the show. And his wife was heavily pregnant. And I'd got myself an upgrade. So I was sitting in business. Yeah. He then comes and sits down next to me. Yeah. The wife keeps walking to the back of the plane. What? She was pregnant? I said, where's she going? Where's your wife? With your unborn? Oh, she's down the back. Oh! Gary's whoa. done that to me when I was Has pregnant. Has he? Yeah, because of the nature of his work, the airline will always put him in the first three rows yeah. so that you can't see if he's doing work, the security on his laptop, whatever. Yeah, because he's with ASIO, so yeah. So he sits in row three and I was so heavily pregnant. All the way to see me. you later, mate. No, what? You, he can't do that. I know, what a dog. Wendy and Leichhardt, what did your ex-husband do, Wendy? Oh, man, we were on a trip to New Zealand with a rugby team. And my husband, who flew off and got upgraded, and I didn't, so I was left with the team of young men. Mm. And um, then he proceeded to send me a glass of champagne in a plastic cup. <laughs> I mean, that's something, isn't it, Wendy? Well, yeah, you know, what a slap in a face. I mean, Do you know what I remember? The, 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 we used to go away on a family holiday to Ardross and at the Ardross and Hotel, we'd have a counter meal, right? Mm. With all the people that would come away Ardrossen, on this trip. Yeah. And then this, we heard this huge, it was like thunder, you could hear thunder coming, Sarah, and I thought, what's going on here? There's a huge storm coming. Went out and uh, uh, bikies rocked up. They were gypsy jokers. And there would have been a hundred of them. Wow. The, the, the sound of all the Harley Davidsons was full on. Yeah. And a guy did a wheelie out the front. And he was in the whole town. You could see people running because they yeah. were taking over this town. They walked into the pub and mum and dad were there. And one of them took a, he took a shine to mum. Okay. And he kept he came over and he was just staring at mum the whole time. And I, as a young guy, I was freaking out going, yeah. oh my gosh, this is full on. What's dad going to do? He's looking at mum like I, a Harley Davidson. I turned around to see where dad was and I could see him walking out of the park. <laughs> You can He's take gone. it. He left. And she joined the Gypsy Jokers he, for a while, didn't she? She was there for six months. But <laughs> she became command in arms. <laughs> Quite often we would send you some cheeses if you were in economy, wouldn't we? Yeah, you guys always looked after me like that. Yeah, they'd be half eaten, but at yeah, least we'd get no, that's it. right. One day you surprised me. I think you might have upgraded me on my birthday. Did we? When we went to South Africa. That's right. That was stupid. You yeah. know, but that was just to Perth and then we... That, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Peter in Harrington Park, what happened when you... You forgot to select seats when you booked a flight, Pete. Well, we got separated and there's about six rows of seats between us and uh, two of the most beautiful girls that worked on the plane happened to sit next to me. <laughs> so uh, the wife kept looking at me and I'm talking and chatting and having a great time. And I was in big trouble when we arrived where we went. Oh, <laughs> you could have swapped, yeah. Pete. You could have swapped seats before no, it took off, Pete. Didn't need to, Pete. Pete. Want to do that? Why would you oh, want to do that? Pre- pretend the, to be asleep next time. He had something. the in-flight entertainment on his left and right-hand side. You still catching up with them, Pete? Yeah, oh, no, no, no. no that was a did. joke. Dirty old man. That was a joke. Good luck, Pete. Pete's rang in for himself. He's joined the Mile High Club. <laughs> Two people enter. Who wins? Only one leaves. Lock the door. There's 60 seconds. What? On the clock. Time to dance. It's time to play Last Man Standing. A lot of effort goes into designing and engineering Sunbeam products to make life feel effortless. Sunbeam. Live more effortless. How's this for a package? Diamond Force Air Fryer, Pie Maker, Waffle Maker, Reverse Grill Barbecue. Wow. Sounds like a bedroom move, doesn't, doesn't it? it? A fry pan and skillet set, plus a sandwich press. How good is that from Sunbeam? Wow. You're not doing the reverse grill, are you, mate? Oh, come on. You've only just met it. Oh, my gosh. I just walked in on Mum and Dad doing a reverse grill barbecue. Oh, no. I didn't think Cousin Shane would be involved. Let's stay focused, please. Damo in Go Me A Bay. Hi, Damo. Hi, Damo. Oh, hey, Boone. How hey, are you? You've just moved house, big fella, so you need these appliances. Oh, mate, I've got stuff everywhere. My toaster has just got crumbs from about 10 years. <laughs> so I'm definitely here yeah. for some new appliances. Well, oh, do you know what? Day, that sounds like you really need the appliances. Nicole and Engadine... 
do you want to just give it to Damo or would you like to compete as well? Oh, well, I'm very competitive, so I definitely want to compete. All right, you've All got right. to fight for this, Nick. Good luck today. Okay, Damo, we're you. starting with you. Damo, you're going first. If you get one wrong, power goes over to Nicole. Whoever has the power at the end of 60 seconds gets that sunbeam package. Damo, your 60 seconds starts now. Which restaurant would you find the Zinger Burger? AFC. Correct. A meteorologist studies what? The weather. Yes. Julia Fox recently dated which famous rapper? Uh, Kanye West. Yeah, that is correct. How many toes does a camel have on each leg? Uh, six. No, it's two. Over to Nicole. Nicole, true or false? Bruno Mars performed at the 2022 Super Bowl. Uh, true. No, it was no. false. Bad luck. Let's go back to Damo. A staple in Korean cuisine is kimchi. What is it made of, Damo? Cabbage. No, oh, it's fermented vegetables. Back to Nicole. Who was the lead actress in Miss Congeniality? Uh, Sandra um, Bullock. Yes, correct. Jennifer Sanders and Joanna L- Lumley played best friends in which TV comedy series? I wouldn't have a clue. That's absolutely fab- fabulous. Back to Damo. What is the only mammal... Damo's home. Life? Damo is home. He was angry about his cabbage not being accepted when he had fermented <laughs> vegetables. Cabbage. Doesn't matter, Damo. Well done. All yours, buddy. You've got the appliances package. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Well that done. is amazing. Well done. A lot of effort goes into designing and engineering Sunbeam products to make your life feel effortless. Sunbeam, live more effortless. Lights, camera, hilarity, Ooh, Sarah. Kate McKinnon stars as Carol Baskin in the brand new Stan exclusive series, Joe vs. Carol, premiering March 4, only on Stan. Says Rita Ora, Taika Waititi, this is amazing. They have taken their relationship to the next step. They have. They've gone and got tattoos together. Oh. The thing being, they didn't get matching tats. They were in LA and they put up pickies on Instagram. So she got... um. A Not rose, a... a delicate flower on her upper thigh. Oh, that's sort of a... That's Is that a tribute to him? Maybe, but he's then gone and got... And if you're dating someone whose name is four letters, yes. Rita, yeah. why would you go and get on your fingers the name Jane written? Oh, that's not a matching tattoo. Ja- what, no, what, what's that's the why reason? I said they didn't get matching tattoos. So, like, what's, what's the reasoning? The... Well, people are saying it must be the Natalie Portman character Jane Porter from the Marvel movies that he's produced, all the Thor movies. So nothing to do with her. But that's the only thing. But yeah, why would you get Jane written on your hand? Who knows? Ooh, pretty quirky, Jane. funny, yeah. plain Jane. A bit of a, a story behind it yep. every time you tell people. When he comes on the show, you'll have to ask him. Or you could ask Natalie Portman because she is back in Australia. She was at a kid's birthday you know party what, in Bronte off. yesterday. Yeah, she was, wasn't she? Yeah, Great shot lovely. kissing the husband. Yeah, was um, cute. What? I think is really funny if anybody's thinking about getting a tattoo on a rainy day like today, get a moustache on the side of your finger and then you can hold it up over your top lip like that and everyone goes, oh, you got a moustache. No, it's on my finger. It's just there and you can do that joke. You've got it on hand, literally, any time you want it. Does it go down a bit better than that? Yeah, no, it's of course I don't have it. If I'd drawn it on, you would have understood. Right. But Why don't you get it today to... and tomorrow we'll decide okay. if it's funny. And then we go, oh, look at that, it's a mistake. Anyway, up to you whether you do that today or not. Cool. One of those fights at weddings. Guys, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> He's revealed what his wife thinks of his excessive working out. She thinks it's ridiculous. She's always thinking I'm doing way too much and I need to stop and I'm way too into myself. But I'm starting to really feel good again and I went through a lot when I put on all the weight for Father Stu. So now kind of getting back to where I feel good again. Do you know what fits? My wife bought me a three-pack of Kelvin Klein underpants for Christmas. Kelvin or Calvin? Cal, whatever the brand is. Kelvin Klein. Calvin's no, that well, cartoon, Calvin and Hobbes. He's out of Maryland. He's Kelvin Klein. Okay. And he started up his own. What about Calvin Klein? He also sells is in Bali. Calvin Klein? Yeah. Anyway, I put them on. Says I look nothing like Marky Mark. Like Shocking. nothing. No way. Yeah. Do you want them? You wear Calvin Klein undies, don't yeah, you? Would yeah, you take them. Whipper's second-hand no. pre-worn I've never, underpants? I've never tried them on. No. Well, I, tried how do you one, know? I tried one pair on and went, oh, this is not flattering at all. Dad bod and Calvin Klein do not mix. No. They're a gift to you, mate. Thank you. I'll take them. No worries. Finally, guys, LeBron James has got the giggles. I think this is really unfair. He was. Uh, it was the NBA All Star Game. They're about to do the national anthem. It starts. I'm going to play it for you. Macy Gray is singing. Yeah, she has a bit of a different take. 
LeBron Twitter fired up because he you, he just cannot stop giggling. Right. I don't think she sounds right. that bad. And the rock and its red glare, the bombs bursting in air. That's when he starts. She's got a good voice. I think so too. But when you get the giggle, you need. I mean, it's not as bad as Fergie was. No, the Fergie in the system. Or oh, have you got Chaka Khan? No, nah, too late now. Sorry, was Fergie, Mel. Fergie was horrible. 2018, yeah, Fergie was shocking. But poor she... Macy Gray, poor LeBron James got smashed. I didn't think it was gig, that bad. I didn't think so either. It's her dude with a guitar. I think it's all quite beautiful, but poor guy wants. It's just Fergie. This is Shaka Khan. All right. I mean, she's got an amazing voice oh, yeah. too. It's wild, but you've overcooked it. <laughs> the law. If you break it, you'll be caught. Do you know, it was one of those moments yesterday. I, was, I went to the mailbox and you never... I mean, we don't get a lot of mail these days, do we, really? Um, and I almost threw it in the bin and then I thought, oh, what is that letter? I'll open it. Anyway, I opened it and it had that New South Wales police badge on it. Oh, and everybody no. goes, oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. What have I done? I'm such a good citizen. If... I've never had guns in my car. I don't do drugs. I have an occasional beer. Yeah. And I've got a great police record. They finally caught up with the oxygen thief, didn't hmm? they? I was arrested for stealing <laughs> oxygen for 42 years. I couldn't believe it. They said I'd snuck in with the humans. We've got him, guys. Huh? For what? There he is over there. What telling, have I done? He's telling another story. Get over there, quick. <laughs> oh, quick. Cuff him. Anyway, very quickly when you do this and you realise it's a road incident, you're just hoping that it's not you and it's your wife. Oh. Then I saw the number plate and I went, Honey, you better come in here. $352 and five demerit points. Oh, Ooh, what for? Phone? Phone. Oh, Being yes. on your phone in the car. So was it, was she at a traffic because I know there's all these cameras yeah. and traffic lights mm. now. Traffic lights, 4.30, more park area. Anzac Parade, yeah, and there's a camera there, and it's snapped. And I went, okay, well, why don't we have a look at the image? So she, I handed it over to her, and I said, you can, you can have a look at the image, and yeah, sure. If you can't see the phone, then, you know, dispute it if you want. But if the photo's there, well, then of course you're done. Did she look good in the image, though? That was the thing. Well, here, well, what they do because it's an invasion of privacy. First things first, they blur out the passenger seat. Yeah. Because what if it was Lisa in the car with somebody else that she was seeing, and then we were to see it, and I went, "Hang on a minute. Oh yeah. What are you doing with your personal trainer? And you're gonna, fingers. you're not gonna think it's sus that there's still a body. It's just been blurred. Well, you never know what's there, <laughs> sir. So it's blurred, and then there's some detail in your car that's blurred. Also, your head is also blurred. So it's the shot, and it just shows the phone being held. So Isn't guilty. It's from above. It's from above. Yeah. yeah. So you're definitely guilty. The thing was. When we had a look at it, she said, no, that's you. You're in my car. And I said, no, they've got a boob. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's a right breast. That's yeah. you. That no, can't be me. No, look at the left arm. It's look all hairy. Look at the hairy. thighs. Look at the left arm's hairy. And I said, but look at the... See, I've got a plant in the front seat there. We're looking at the photo on the big screen here oh, in the yeah. studio. There's a plant because I'd been out at Flower Power at Mascot. What amateur is resting their phone on their thigh? Oh, so amateur. Like, but I said, really? honey, I mean, I hadn't noticed the phone in the hand and the thigh there says at this stage, and I was just going by boob. Yeah. I was yeah. going by right breast. Is that right breast? And breasts? I went, it's massive, honey, isn't it? this is you. No, That's it, your breast size. This can't be me. It wow. instantly looks like one of your breasts. You'd have to. <laughs> Are you indicating with that breast? <laughs> <laughs> High beams. Have you got a shirt on? Just you look like you've got no top on. Mm. Guilty. I'm guilty of holding my phone. So, yeah. so she laughed at that and said, "Guilty by breast." So it's did, you. Are you taking the five demerits? I'll have to take the five demerits. Yeah. I'll have to swap them over to me. But you know where they ha you have those moments in life. I know Eddie Maguire spoke about it before he went on that um, treatment that he did, where he was on a strict diet and some herbs and stuff, and he lost twenty kilos or so. And he walked past a window and he went, oh, "I see a fat man looking back at me. I need to change now." Aww. I feel like when you're in an argument you're with him, your mate. wife over whose breasts it is in the photo, 
Yeah, it's an out of body moment. You need isn't to it? stop down and have a bit of a look at yourself. When you can't work out whether it's your boob or your wife's, that's when you know things need to change. She's going to get a reduction. Do they um, do they jiggle when you go over speed humps? What upsets me about? Undoubtedly. It's really rude, but thanks so much for the question. You're they under do. a breast. Oh, okay. That is what the cops could have said. Well, they could. We're not playing Punday Monday, Tom. Sorry. It's Tuesday and we've moved on. What I hate about having breasts as a man is what Fitzy talks about. It's the speed hump. But that seat belt, mm. which you can see in the photo there, is one of the great breast dividers. But it's propping it up. Hmm? Otherwise that thing would be sagging so yeah. much lower. But that, that seat belt's Should... given you some really good lift. R.I.P. Meatloaf. But if anyone's seen um, mm. Fight Club as well, Robert Paulson, you know Big Bob when he had, he had, had his he? boobs and, they, and he had to hug. Oh. They hugged each other. With it's very similar Huge to that. Boobs. Or that scene with Jabba the Hutt where they've got Princess <laughs> Leia tied up on the well, rope and through. there he is. Or if you've seen Space Balls, it's Pizza mm. the Hut. But same, same, same. You know. How about um, Fat Bastard in? Austin oh, Powers. Don't go. That's mate, mean. Way that's too that's far. Too far. What do you mean too far? I mean, can I not join in on this? We're not if making it, fat If it's jokes. about my breast, can I not no, join in on that? 2022. One thing I have taught Francesca to do is she would go, she would grab here and go boobies. And now I've taught her to say pecs. So she'll come over and point here and go pecs, pecs. And I go, that's it. Tell everyone. Dad's got pecs. She hasn't seen this photo yet. It's clearly obvious that I need um, not only my five demerit points back, but a hell of a lot of support with that right breast. Be 20 kilos in that wild swing and thing. It's five demerits, mate. That's that's the hard thing. Five you demerits. Get, what do you get these days, 13? Yeah. I don't know, 13, is it? 13. I've got done twice with this, and it really does. Oh, whack ones, demerit points. Yeah, Far it's a out. big whack. Yeah. But and you didn't have the boob issue that I've now got, which is crushing. Yeah. Take 10 demerit points... And take, I don't know, a kilo off my right breast and I'm happy. I don't think they're running demerits and lipo as a deal. They're not doing that? No. Can't negotiate in any sense? $350, five demerits and 10 kilos of... If you give me 10 of your demerits, Mm -hmm. because I need them, I'll take one kilo of your boob. I'll do it. Happy to do it. (laughs) And you'd take it onto your chest? Yep. Left or right? Left to start. This is good. Hey, there's a few uh, characters that are anti-vaxxers around the world at the moment. I know Canada are having a few problems moving people on, and over in New Zealand, there's a bit of an uh, an anti-vaccine protest going on. And a lady got up, and I just love it when people get they get so entrenched in their story. Oh, they're angry. And I think there's a moment where you don't know where they're going. So, okay, so this is the Kiwi accent as well. So, I just want to give you the heads up. The word shedding, okay, <laughs> sounds like something. Else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here she goes. If you've been vaccinated, you. Need need to be aware that you have been injected with something that creates your body to make these evil little invisible parasites called spiked proteins. They come come out through your breath, they come out through your skin, everything you touch. We had a pet lamb and someone came to our house who had not been vaccinated, but her partner had been vaccinated. And she was shedding, so her partner got her to be shedding these spike proteins. Now this girl came to our house, picked up our pet lamb, gave it a cuddle, put it down. The next day it wouldn't drink its milk. By the end of that day, it was just lying down and it was not even, couldn't stand up or anything. We put it out of its misery. Oh, Oh, God. They've put the lamb out of its misery because it wouldn't drink its milk. What a lunatic. (laughs) And it was shitting. Just as well, because I didn't know this as well, right? And I'm vaccinated, but I didn't know this about my blood after I've been vaccinated, but she pointed this out. So the blood of people who have not been vaccinated is red and it's free-flowing and it's a bright red colour. The the blood of these people who have been vaccinated and who have been vaccinated with the bad stuff it's black and it's closet. Oh. They can't even put it through their machines. What do you mean? We've all got black blood. So I, I cut myself on the weekend. I didn't see oh, any black blood. I've got black clotted blood that won't go through the machines. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> When's the next rally in Canberra? But I'm I, looking I, for some pink I'll tell you what, I'm shedding myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big day yesterday, guys. I can tell you that. Space Getty was still celebrating the launch from Musselbrook last week, sending a bowl of spaghetti 25 kilometres into space. In a world first, we launched Big John's Tomato Space Getty. Now, 
there were people that tasted it and said they loved it. The problem is, Fitz, not enough people that want to taste it have tasted it. So I got out to top ride yesterday, took a team with me, the Italian job. Frank and the team, well done, Frank. they know how to cook a pasta. Big Frank's space getty, was it? Well, Big Frank's, yeah. <laughs> Mate, he put in the mix. He knew the recipe. Uh, we've, done, we've put on some great shows at top ride over the years. I mean, there was the Leatham Brothers. Oh, uh, that was a spot, spot where um, yeah, we well, wore... We were banned from that place Alita for, Housen, for yeah. a year, I think, after dressing up in leathers. Yeah, and I don't oh, know... You did a rap there? Yeah, Born to Rap says, yep, which was a big that. hit. Whip of the Whale? Not no, sure was about... Castle Hill. It was Castle Hill, that's was right, it? Yeah, that was a disaster, we were banned that one. there from five for yeah, five years. That's well, that's because Whipper yelled at a staff member for dropping well, his shoe she cards She dropped the words, and I couldn't sing. I just had to ad-lib as a whale in an outfit. I think you were a frog. You dropped your blubber that day. That was crazy. Extremely emotional. Um, all over the. Okay. Do you think when Adele's on stage, she has cue cards? No, yeah. mate. And you know yeah. what? I'm not Adele. One song. I am not Adele. That's and I just wanted to make sure that they were going to get the best version of Whip of the Whale ever. A very that. wordy song. My God. You wrote it. Yeah, I know. See if I'm going to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> all, the good, all the good songs says are written quickly. Well, that's why. Took me about four minutes. The whale, I live in the, the sea. sea. Maybe you've seen me on the TV. I jump, jump out of the water back down again. The ocean is my home and I'm top of the food chain. King of the sea, get ready. It helps if you rhyme, All right, yeah. guys, now wobble with this me. This is the best bit. Here we go. I remember this bit. This is when the cards were dropped. Wobble, 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 when he was wobbling on the floor at Castle Hill. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, was, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. So everyone got a so harpoon about, out instead of throwing stuff. What about when you were a naked cowboy at Castle Hill, mate? Naked. Remember that show? What was oh, that? For okay. some reason, you were just in speedos, a vest, a cowboy hat with boots on. Was I? I've got photos on my phone. What was? What were we doing then, Tom? I'm not sure, but Castle Towers has never been the same <laughs> since, guys. The poor shopping centre. My God. Anyway, yesterday we served up with Frankie and the team from the Italian job 250 serves of Big John Space Getty for the people at Top Ride Shopping Centre yesterday to try. One woman should have seen the devastation on her face. She had a trolley. She was carrying a lot of stuff. She walked off and she spilt the Space Getty. It hit the floor. Oh, and we were no. devastated. Centre management had to call for cleaners. How long as did it she take was, you to lick it off? <laughs> as she was crying, I said, gobble, it's gobble, okay. Gobble, gobble, gobble. No, it's Wobble, different song. My apologies. Different shopping centre. We got her another bowl of space spaghetti. Did she want another she, one? She turned that frown upside down. <laughs> Let's have a listen to the people and the feedback on those who tried it yesterday. Oh, my God, the spaghetti was delicious. The little boy I look after, Archie, gobbled it up. He's got it all over his T-shirt, all down his face. It's amazing. Hi. To Maisha and this pasta is very good. This is the best free spaghetti I've ever had in my life. <laughs> the pasta is al dente, it's not too tomatoey. There's the right amount of parmesan to give it just a little bit of saltiness but without being too overpowering. Ten out of ten. No wonder Matt Preston loved it so much. Wow. What does al dente mean? Not soft, so it's a little bit still a little bit hard. Yeah. So it's not cooked completely to right. be like a, a soft spaghetti. It's al dente. It's still a so, little bit... Sort of when you do only half the cooking. Yeah. And is that when you, you take it out and you, and if it sticks up against the wall... Throw it out the window. That's al dente? No, that'd be further... A little bit, another minute on that. Cooked. Another minute? Yeah. yeah. You would describe Whipper's comedy as al dente, sort of half done. Half baked. Half formed. Half baked, yeah. Not really completed. Can we turn his mic off again? Do you know what was amazing? <laughs> there was a bloke yesterday... And I'm not sure if he's listening. No doubt he's a fan of the show. He walked off with an overhead on. Vince, right? Oh, yeah. Vince would have been in his 80s. I'll say he was in his 80s. He was Italiano. I said, Vince, you've got to try this. He's Italian. I'm a bit of a culture vulture. And Vince said, without a word of a lie, on my kids' lives, this is the best pasta I have ever eaten. Well, Ma f sorry. To quote him, he said, Marma mia. This is the best the pasta I have ever eaten. Do you remember oh, when you we do banned? the accents. You do the. Yeah, oh, you're the oh. accent guy. Oh. Mario. We couldn't get do Vince powers. on this morning. No, you're missing the point. He's cookie been eating. Master? Who's All right. that? The guy you were banned from portraying oh, on air. It wasn't me, the, the Cookie Master. Sensitivities. Mm. I don't think you should attack the. Italian well, it certainly sound. wasn't me. I'm not the a second darkest day on this show. <laughs> It was just extraordinary to hear a man who's been eating pasta for 80 years say this is the best pasta I have ever eaten. Isn't he 
Mario. It was Vince, not Mario, mate. Did he race off in a little <laughs> car? No, Mamma mia. He wasn't. No, he wasn't a character. He got a power mushroom. up. Power he was a man living in. He was a man living in ride. <laughs> what car was he in? He wasn't in it. Let's go. No. <laughs> Guys, he wasn't a Mario brother. He was Italiano, yes, eh? He was from, um, well, he was from Verona, maybe one hour from Milano. And I said, mate, get this into you. The best pasta. I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he wasn't a stripper, genuine. Tom. Genuine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 The Fitzy and Whippers Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.